Hello guys, welcome to the channel for my yes, in today's video we are doing the tips, tricks, hidden features and settings for video of the Pixel 7 Pro. So guys, this is the 12GB, 128GB variant of the Pixel 7 Pro in the hazel color. So guys, let's start from the most essential features. So, let me unlock. So guys, I'm just doing a double tap on the back of my phone. And you can see instantly the screenshot is taken, how to set it up. So just go to the settings and upon here you can an option called system and over here you can see gesture options and you can see quick tap to start actions and by default i have set it to uh, take a screenshot you can assign to a digital assistant play or post media series and apps show notifications or toggle flash or even you can uh, assign it to any of the applications which you have installed on the phone so just give a double tap and you're good to go so if i need to open chrome and you need to see just i'm doing a double tap see chrome instantly open so that's a really cool feature so that was the quick tap settings and uh, let's go to the next that's the quickly open camera just double press the power button sorry it was should be really quick see the camera would be open so that was the quickly open camera so next is the flip a camera for selfie so if you're in the rear camera and just you need to flip your phone like this and introduce switch between the rear camera to front camera front camera to rear camera so that was a flip to selfie and then this, you have the system navigation and you can have three button navigation also but actually this is a bit outdated if and just navigation is really good cool. just give a uh, right swipe like this or the left swipe for the back and for the home you need to just swipe up and for the reasons swipe up and stop at the middle so the really cool and convenient and uh, now let's go back to system navigation and uh, upon here you can see a few more options to increase the touch sensitivity so that a light tap or a light back tap gives instantly uh, for the um, back sensitivity and all and then we have a swipe uh, to invoke assistant just turn on this and just do a in swipe like this that means a small swipe to the up and you can see instantly the assistant would be appears so that's the system navigation and now let's look at the next that's the tap to check for that means this is a tap to show feature that means when the screen is off just give a tap over here like this and instantly it would show and the next would be the raise to wake so that's i will if my phone is lying over here and then i just pick up the phone instantly the phone would be activated that's the lift to check phone that is also turned on and next is the flip to ish feature that means that means flip to mute feature it is essentially so once your phone is in the normal mode just uh, place your phone like this instantly you it would be going to the do not disturb board and you are you would be receiving some a uh, nice haptic feedback so that was the flip to ish feature that so next is 100 mode so you can see and if you're in some application suppose if you're in chrome and just give a small bottom swipe like this and instantly you can see 100 mode appearance and you can see just tap on anyway and it would be go back to the normal and that's 100 mode and then what else so press and hold the power button and you can see it can you can disable for the assistant and you can increase the time or decrease the time by adjusting the short and the long bar so that's it what's first we are getting in the uh, system and the next in the system is uh, the multiple users so currently you can allow multiple users just give this allow one users and you can add a guest or add a user so if i am currently adding a guest suppose if you are giving a phone to a third party person for just for calls or just some random quick use and you need to switch to guest mode and uh, you would be having a separate application without any of your photos you can see uh, currently it would won't have any of the photos and if you just go into play store it wouldn't have your gmail id it would be having a fresh account and also it would be a really nice experience and if you want to switch back you need to go to your settings and just go to your uh, system and just uh, multiple users and remove guests and it would be automatically switched back to your main phone and you need to unlock and that's that and you can also add the users from the log screen also you can also add a user also then we have the live translate options which use of card lively translating from one language to another language so that also option is also available over here then for the next we have the digital well-being so that means it is a sort of app timer so that means if you want uh, suppose if you this is instagram suppose this camera is instagram and if you want to use only this application for just 15 minutes or one hour then you can just tap on the icon over there and you can set the timer so if i set 45 minutes automatically after 45 minutes you will receive a warning and the app get instantly closed so that was that's uh, the digital well being and apart from that we have the focus mode bedtime mode which we can customize based uh, upon our own needs so that's the digital well being feature and then we have a feature like the ios like the crash detection it's similar to cra car crash detection feature and you can uh, log on to the personal safety account and you can add your emergency contacts and without even unlocking phone it will be showing your emergency contacts whenever you are in uh, some sort of emergency like it will detect like uh, some sort of like uh, car crash detection and all okay 
So next would be a really cool feature. I have already mentioned that you need to go to the system gestures and you need to turn on this feature, lift it to check font. And along with that, you need to go to the security, security and you need to turn on the face and face and fingerprint unlock. And I am just typing my pin and you need to go to the face unlock and you can see skip lock screen. So that what happens is whenever your face get uh, uh, recognized, automatically it would be going to the home screen. So without pressing any buttons, you can instantly go to your home screen. So you can see I didn't, I'm not going to press any buttons. I'm just lifting my phone and instantly you can see it automatically gets to my uh, home screen. So that's really cool. So that's the first feature. And uh, let's move to the next. That would be in the accessibility. So you can have many options like you can see uh, extra dim options available over here and you can have the live caption which uh, gives live caption based on the videos which we are seeing and we have live transcript which we can convert the speech to a uh, text so that's also options also available then we have the audio description that means if you are playing some sort of supported movies and all it would be uh, showing a description of the movie which you are currently playing then we have sound amplifier which helps the uh, use uh, headphones to improve the audio at all so that also option is also available over here and then we have the wallpaper let me quickly uh, show you the wallpaper and here we can have the customization based on the colors so we are getting some really nice stock wallpapers over here and we have dark theme on and off feature and then you can see by default you can see the icons should be appearing on their uh, stock type like the play store uh gmail and you can see it's a colorful sort of which we can download from the play store and if you once turn down the themed icons feature it would be automatic adjust with the theme colors and this is really cool to see if you compare i just turned off and if you look at this and you can see the difference it's a lot of difference so i would be really like to use in the themed icons and then we have the app grid which you can select how much application to display maximum you can go to 5 to 5 and minimum you can go to 22 okay then we have the display let me switch to displays settings display and uh, you can see display option so first of all you need to do is switch to quad hd resolution this phone supports quad hd resolution and uh, if you are really into the battery uh consumption then if you need to less use of battery then you should make use of uh, your uh, on rate zero p and if you want to use the maximum resolution the maximum punginess of the phone then you should use in the one four four zero p qhd plus resolution and also here we are getting it's an ltpo display so here we're getting smooth display that means automatically just between 62 and 90 hertz and then you can see that the pixel 7 pro is a curved display so most of screen protectors won't be perfectly switched or even you have touch sensitivity issues so if you want to improve that you can just turn on the screen protection mode for the maximum uh, touch sensitivity option at all and then we have the night light which makes use of the uh, easiness to read or watch movies especially at the night without uh, uh, light in the room so that would be really convenient and it gives a less strain to the eye also and then we have the colors such as natural and adaptive adaptive is really vibrant and natural the color tone seems to be a bit low saturated if you compare with the adaptive okay so that's it and then we have the display size and text which we can uh are just based on our needs and you can adjust the display size you can have the high contracts voltage and all so that's is also available then we have an option called the now playing feature which is on the uh what we call in the sound and vibration so sound and vibration you can see an option called uh, uh, and now playing so that means it would be and if that means if some so and so phone is playing some music and it would really take the music and it would be showing like this song is now being played and if you want to show it's on the lock screen you can search show button on the lock screen so it would be automatically shows over here too so that also is a cool feature without any third party apps you can do that too and next Next, you can see the, I just open up my app drawer and you can see a search Google search appear over here and I need to once tap over here then I need to tap and if I just tap S22 Ultra and you can see it would be directly going to the Google search see so from the app drawer directly to the Google search but you need two steps you need to once tap over here so once instantly if you need to uh, do the Google search you need to tap over here and you can see three dots over here just tap over here and just tap the preferences over here and you need to always show keyboard so what does this do is just once you just opens your app drawer you can see instantly your keyboard appears so that is also a really cool feature and then we have the notification toggle customization you can see if you, I have so many notifications but if you want to customize you can just tap over here and see you can just place it anywhere or you can just place it anywhere and you can have uh, some more uh, like sound amplifier storage focus mode and if you want to add that so that means camera access application so you need to just drag over here and put over there 
okay so instead you can see the camera uh, access is also a bit and if you are doubting that some of your apps would be spying that means might be using your camera so once if suppose i'm spying on i think that the google chrome on this particular website would be using my camera so it would be automatically showing that my camera is being used you can see an icon over here but still you can make use of another feature called this access access feature you can see a camera access just tap over here now the camera access is blocked now even if i op open my camera it would be she unblock camera you need to unblock then only you can use this so you can make sure that the, any of the third party application or your website wouldn't use the camera okay so that is also cool so you need to just i'm just giving access once again okay so that's it and the next is uh, giving us a uh, split screen view so if i'm in the chrome i need i need to open another application you, you need to just go to the reasons and you can tap over here and you can see split top just tap over here and open the second set of applications so currently i'm open this so same time you can open this as well as so two applications at a glance so that's also, also really cool and then we have another option called select option so once you are in the settings so you can see so in this feature you have you can have a few other text so if you want to copy some random text from this you need to tap on the select and you can see it a selection bar appears and you need to tap select which or portion you need and you can directly copy share or search from directly so that is also a really cool then we have the keyboard and we have the glide typing also options available just p i x e l so you can see pixel so that is also really cool you can instantly type over there and then apart from that you can have the text editing precise texture that means you have multiple paragraphs and you need to precisely edit you can have autofocus i need to uh, front camera have just focus i need to just uh, tap over here and i just text editing so you need a you are getting a joystick so i am just you can see how focus see you can have the precise editing and all so it would be useful for the big set of uh, paragraphs you know it would be a uh, useful for some minor set you can do like this instead okay and then we have the 100 mode so so if i'm using it my right hand i need to just tap like this so you can see instantly uh, it would be a uh, all of the keyboard which we accessible with my right hand and if i'm holding in the left and you can see i just tap over here and you can see instantly access with the left and then we have the floating keyboard also so just tap over here and you just tap on the here you can see the floating keyboard which we can place anywhere so that's also is really cool you can see wow that's also really cool one then we have a game dashboard actually the pixel is not decent for gamers but still it has got a game uh, dashboard feature so go into the google and you can have a game dashboard not some basic set of features like do not disturb in the games that means do not allow notifications as well as calls while we are in the games at all and next is the camera that means mainly focus on the camera so let's start from the night side which is available and we have the options like the astrography for ast pro photography option then we have the type of focus option and also the ratio selection and all then we have the motion which we takes make use of the motion photos and it will be also shows the motion option available and then we have the long exposure as well as the action panel feature and also we have the timer feature also then we have the portrait board which we can use in the 1x as well as the 2x and we can have the night uh, more light feature face retouching timer and the ratio feature and then on camera you can see a uh, few more features like more light top short we can set to auto and we have the timer option is also available and we can shoot in the ultra wide 2 and 5 and then we have the video in which we can shoot the slow motion normal time lapse and this icon is here for the stabilization you can see uh standard stabilization lock and active so that is also available then we have a cinematic pan option is also available and then let's look at the here we can adjust the resolution 4k 60 fps or you need to new full hd 60 fps and you can turn on the hdr or you can see uh, in 30 fps it supports the hdr as well as the speech enhanced option also available so you can see in one zero eight zero p at uh, uh, 30 fps you can use of uh, the then which is as well as a speech enhancement and then you have the time lapse option is also available we can uh, speed up to 120x so that is also really cool then we have the cinematic portrait mode is also available which makes use of background blur and all then we have the panorama photosphere which we will take 360 degree of uh, view and then we have the google lens option available so that's it regarding the quick tips tricks and hidden features and settings on video of the google pixel 7 pro so guys that's it for today signing off it's for mania